We're here to introduce the Vilo. It's the vinyl liner leak locating unit made by Leaktronics. It comes with a sender which sends a square voltage through this float into the pool. It has a receiver that works with the LT1000 and it has two probes. This is for walls, this is for floors. It comes with a meter to make sure that you're getting the same square voltage throughout the whole entire pool. Headphones, case, and we're going to do a demonstration now on how to use it. So the first thing what we like to do is, if possible, we like to pull any rails or any grounds that are in the pool out of the way. Sometimes it's hard and sometimes you have to rule it out. That's why we're going to use the acoustic approach next with the pool scope. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the pool scope around anything that's grounded that will give you a false positive with the Vilo unit. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the pool scope, we're going to throw it in, we're going to hook up our LT1000. Set up our headphones and we're going to listen at all things that are going to give us a false positive as far as grounds are concerned. Listen to areas that you usually get. Because you have screws, if they touch any kind of dirt, you're going to get a reading. But you could actually hear those leaks really loud if they're, if they're leaking when you're listening on a step track. What you want to do is you want to listen to the whole scene. Then we're going to pick it up on the other side. It's quiet. Then we're going to listen in front of skimmers. Actually, we might as well listen to the skimmer line while we're in there. If that is an EQ or it goes to main drain, you'll hear that as well with this. Then we're going to listen to the skimmer tracks again because these screws give you a fall, so you can stay away from it with the Vilo. You do it real quick. I like to listen around returns. Again, just in case they are grounded. And we're just going to rule all this stuff out. That's good. Then what we like to do is drop and drag over our main drain. Let it set. And we're going to pull it right up on our drain. Those leaks are really loud typically. And we're not hearing anything. So we're going to rule out all those areas just by listening with the pool scope. Now that we listen to the whole entire pool with the pool scope and we listen to all the areas that are going to give us false grounds, or real grounds actually, we set up our Vilo. We take our ground rod, push it into any grassy area, hook up our ground. Then we take our positive side, which goes to the float. We send out our square voltage, so it doesn't necessarily have to be weighted and thrown into the middle of the pool. We're gonna get the same reading from without the whole entire pool. So now that we have the square voltage going in, our unit is on, we have our probe hooked up, our piggybacking to our LT1000 amp, it all works with the same XLR. So the amp is actually powering this. So what we're going to do is this unit is made for the floor. It's got two coves and it's facing down. So what it allows you to is to uh, cover a large area of floor with it. If you'll notice when you're looking at the actual unit, there's a positive side and it has red tape for red for positive. And what that does if that's the actual side that's going to find the leak, the other side is always going to try to find ground. So anytime you have that other side facing that actual float, it's going to show up as a false reading. So you always want to kind of keep it um, pointing away. And that's why we have these 90 down on the bottom for a lot less false positives. So what you're able to do with this is you're almost raking the bottom without actually touching it. It could touch it because it's soft and it's not going to do any damage. But what you actually do is you're finding a large area. And again, always keeping that um, opposite side away from ground, like this drain, that we're actually not picking up right now. But again, it's going to allow us to scan a whole big section of the pool, and especially the floor. The other unit that we're actually going to be using is for listening up high and for the coves and for the walls where we find most of our leaks. 
is in the wall unit and it's almost like a cross shape so it allows you to listen to the wall areas and the radius areas unlike the floor unit which allows you to scan the floor faster so again this lets you get into areas let's you listen up the whole entire wall and the coves and actually we're on to a major leak, which is right here, which we're gonna to demonstrate to you now. So now that we're onto a leak, we're gonna let you actually hear what it sounds like. And what you're hearing right there is this probe detecting a ground. When water is rushing out of an insulated vinyl liner, it creates a ground. So come away, you're gonna lose it. Come up on it. Come away. So now that uh, we found the leak with that uh, Vilo, we're going to use the pull scope and the amp. I'm just going to introduce that sound to you so you can hear what it sounds like. So all we do is hold the pull scope over it and hear how loud it gets when we get away and then when we get close back to it. That's right over. That's coming away. And that's the sound of water rushing through. So now we're going to show you how it's pulling dye. See how it's just yanking it in there. <laughs> 